Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. Okay, lesson six says more division stories. So what we're trying to do today is demonstrate further understanding of division of fractions by creating your own word problems. So the students are going to be able to choose a partitive division problem, draw a model, find the answer, choose a unit, and set up a situation. They also discover that they must try several situations and units before finding which ones are realistic with given numbers. Okay, so that's the objective today. So step one is we're going to decide on an interpretation of 50 divided by 2 thirds. So for starters, I just want to reiterate that 50 is the dividend. And what we are dividing by two-thirds is the divisor. Okay? So we're going to use a partitive interpretation and interpret the divisor. So I want to interpret this in a certain way. How am I going to interpret two-thirds? What does 50 divided by two-thirds mean? Okay? If I make this more simplified by just saying 12 divided by 6, what that means is how many 6's are in 12? And you would say, well, there's two 6's in 12. So therefore, 12 divided by 6 is 2. So here we are saying 50 divided by 2 thirds, meaning what is 2 thirds, what number is um, 2 thirds of 50? Okay, so how am I going to word this? So the divisor is going to be two-thirds two-thirds is going to be the number of groups so two-thirds is going to be the number of groups how many two-thirds groups are in 50 so what we're going to ask I'm going to ask myself so ask Fifty is two thirds groups of what size? Okay, so just like up here, I was asking how many groups of six are in twelve, and there's two. How many groups of two are in 12? Six, that sort of thing. So we're going to ask 50 is two-thirds groups of what size? Group of what size? Two-thirds of a group of what size? Okay, so now we're going to draw a model. Well, if we're going to draw a model of thirds, then we need three squares. broken into three even pieces. So there's one third, two thirds, three thirds, totaling one whole piece. 50 represents how many of the units we have. So 50 is two thirds of what size? That means this is 50. And if we shade the in, we're shading in two thirds of this whole piece, and we want to know what the whole piece was. That's what it means to say 50 divided by two thirds. Okay, two thirds number of ask 50 is two thirds group of what size? So it's two thirds of what? 50 is two thirds of what original number? Okay, so if we're going to take 50 and it's two thirds broken into two pieces, then obviously each piece is 25. 25 plus 25 is 50, so one-third is 25, another third is 25, and the third third would also be 25. So then we're asking ourselves, what was the total group? And you find the answer to be 75. So 50 divided by two-thirds is 75. Okay, 
So to find the answer algebraically, let me move the answer out of the way here. To find the answer algebraically, we're going to take the numerator, the 2, and make it a number. We call it 2 units equals 50. So therefore, if 2 units equals 50, then 1 unit equals 50 divided by 2, which equals 25. So each unit is 25. And we have 3 units. So 3 units equals 25 times 3, which equals 75. Step four says to choose a unit. I could say something like, um, say cookies. We want to bring cookies to a party. We made 50 cookies. But that will only be enough for two thirds of the people at the party. How many people are at the party? Okay. Okay, so it's really hard to write with this pen, so I did it this way. So here is our example for choosing. Okay, I decided to use cookies as a unit, and I said we are invited to a party and are asked to bring cookies. We bring 50 cookies, but that was only enough for two-thirds of the party goers. How many people were up? Okay. So in this case, actually, the unit was actually cookies, the unit. And this sentence would be step five. Set up a situation based upon your model. I got ahead of myself. So the unit was cookies, and the model that we set up, the situation set up based on the model is this sentence. Okay, so exercise one says using the same dividend and divisor, work with a partner to create your own story problem. You may use the same unit dollars, but your situation must be unique. You could try another unit, such as miles, if you prefer. So here the students are to use the same dividend and divisor, which means use 50 and, and two-thirds and come up with their own scenario. I will move on to example two now. So the divisor is three quarters, the dividend is one half. Now we need to decide on an interpretation. Okay, so deciding on an interpretation, take the divisor. Three fourths. And actually, let's write that as the word fourths. Three fourths is the number of groups three fourths is the number of groups. So I got to ask myself, ask, one half the dividend, one half is three fourths of what number? Three fourths of what? So next, we're going to draw a model. So we're dealing with quarters here. So I draw a model. Four sections. So 
So the one half portion, one half is three quarters, three quarters of what total? So three of them, three quarters is our half. So we want to know what this total is. Okay. So I need to determine what each piece is going to be if they're going to add up to a half. Okay. And that would be one sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth. One sixth plus one sixth is two sixths. Two sixths plus one sixth is three sixths. Three divided by six or three over six reduces to one over two. So each square is worth one sixth. So if this is also going to be 1 6 over here, then we can find our total by telling of each square. So the whole thing is 4 6, which reduces to 2 thirds. Okay. 1 half, is three One half divided by 3 quarters is 2 thirds. So now to find the answer algebraically, going to take our, let's go back here and rewrite this, so we had one half divided by three quarters, I'm going to write that up here so I don't forget, okay, so to find the answer, we're going to say three units, our numerator of our divisor, three units equals one half. So if I divide that by 3, we can find out what 1 unit is. And that's 1 half divided by 3. Okay, 1 half divided by 3. Which is the same as saying 1 half times 1 third, which equals 1 sixth. So then we take our denominator of our divisor and we say 4 units equals 4 times 4 times our 1 unit. 4 units is 4 times 1 unit, so 4 times 1 6 equals 4 6, which reduces to 2 thirds. Okay, now we're going to choose a unit for our situation based upon the model. All right, so we could say, how about homework? Our unit is homework. So if we set up a situation, okay, let me bring that in. There's our situation. Daryl completed three-fourths of his homework in a half hour. How long does it take Daryl to complete all of his homework? Okay. So if he did three-quarters of his homework in a half hour, it's going to take him two-thirds to finish it because we got an answer here of two-thirds. And two-thirds of an hour is 40. Exercise two. It's your turn. I'll leave that to you move on and that's the end of the lesson so this is lesson six go do your problems